Hi everyone! The last time I spoke to you guys was a little bit kind of, you know, miserable and a bit like blah. So I thought we'd do something a little bit more interesting today and because I enjoy doing tag videos, so I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna do the closet confidential tag. So the closet confidential tag is obviously made up of so many questions all about what I currently have in my closet or wardrobe as I will refer to it from now on because the word closet doesn't sound right in an English accent. <laughs> So what is the oldest item in your wardrobe or closet? I actually think out of all the things I still wear and have had for a while would be this fishnet top. I think I've had this since I was about 13. It was my very first ever actual fishnet top that wasn't made out of a pair of tights. What is the newest item in my wardrobe? Um, actually, these leggings from Killstar. I have these, these are the Chaos Matrix leggings and they also bought a new pair of the Bass leggings to replace my old pair which ended up with the um, hole in the knee unfortunately. I got this pretty recently as well, look how cool is that? A little bag choker from eBay, a grand total of 99p. What is the most expensive item that I currently own? I think the most expensive item I've got is actually these boots from Penn Gallon. They're actually like this um, like that's all kind of like one thing huge platform boots with a bit that goes up the front of the shin and then buckles around the back of the shin um, but I kind of DIY them so I kind of got two pairs of boots out of them I actually found these to be really well made I've had them for ages and I've worn them to death Settingly, Penn and Gallon have discontinued this sole the big lift sole I believe they've discontinued it I don't think you can still buy these ones these were called Smeg which is a delightful name really amazing shoes they were my very first ever pair of proper platform boots as well they were expensive they were a gift from my mum for christmas because i pestered the life out of it for them i remember the day they arrived and i was like <laughs> little 15 year old me kind of just had a kitten at that point <laughs> oh they, they, they were amazing they still are amazing unfortunately discontinued what's the most affordable slash cheapest item that you use a lot i am um, a master bargain hunter. I trawl through eBay for really cheap secondhand stuff. I'm also a demon bidder as well. I think the cheapest item that I have that I wear regularly, and to be fair, like I say, a lot of stuff that I have is thrifted in one way or another, but I wear this top all the time. This cost me, I think, 99p secondhand from eBay. I actually had this on yesterday as well, um, but I wear this a lot. I like to lay this with um, other lace vest tops because I have a lot of them. Um, like under a corset or something like that, but yeah, that one that I've had for ages, I think cost me a grand total of 99p. What was the biggest bargain? Well, I don't know actually, because as I say, I am a serious bargain hunter. Although I think one of the ones that I was absolutely most proud of and really thrilled when I actually managed to win that auction was these. I mean, check these out. Look at them. Aren't they just, oh, they're just beautiful. I got those on eBay, second hand, and they've hardly been worn. You can tell by the sole that they've hardly been worn. I literally just needed like a bit of a wipe down. And I got them for less than 20 quid. I think I paid like 18 pounds, something like that for them. So yeah, what a hell of a bargain, honestly. Look at them. The downside of those is that I can't actually walk in them. They are for sitting down and looking pretty in only. What's the biggest waste of money? It pains me to admit that these are a waste of money. And I know that my boyfriend will watch this video and he will sit there and be like, yeah, I told you so. And that would be these shoes from Regular Choice. If you watch my birthday weekend vlog from when we went to Birmingham, I showed these. That's when I bought them. I, I paid £100 for them. They're not really something I would normally wear. I, I do think that they're bloody lovely and I saw them in the shop and I fell in love with them. They weren't actually my first choice when I was in the, sh in the shop, but the ones that I did really want, they didn't have in my size, and I was determined that I wasn't leaving the Irregular Choice store without a new pair of beautiful shoes. So these came home with me. And the other ones were like £30 cheaper as well. I like them, yes, I think that they're beautiful. They're kind of like a little bit ugly, but nice ugly. And I think they're stunning. But I've never worn them. I don't know when I'm going to wear them because they're a little bit too high for me. I don't handle like stiletto style heels very well. Um, so these might be like kind of past my talent of shoes. Platforms are better for me, definitely not stilettos. 
They're gorgeous. I love them. Maybe they were just a little bit of a lapse in concentration and a bit too excited actually being in an irregular choice store because I've never been in one before. So yeah, these gorgeous peach Melba shoes from regular choice probably biggest waste of money in my wardrobe right now because I don't think I'm ever actually going to wear them. What are your three favourite items right now? Oh, anyone from the UK will know that it's fucking hot here right now. I am British, I'm also ginger and my wardrobe is black. There's no real colour in my wardrobe. Summer is a hard time for me. So when it comes to the things I wear a lot during summer they tend to be very light, very floaty, very lacy. One of my absolute favourite things right now is this shirt from H&M. Probably would have been helpful for me to put it on hanger so I could actually show you properly but here. Basic lace, long sleeved, black shirt, perfect if it's too hot to be wearing an actual jacket but you kind of still need a bit of something just in case. Yeah, that I love that shirt, I really love that shirt. I also have this little shift dress from Motel, um, it's not actually as see-through as it looks I promise. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's just, it's really nice, it's really floaty, it did have, you can't really tell now because it's kind of come off in the wash, a nice velvety flocked damask pattern all over it, you can kind of see there. It's not as obvious as it was when I first got it, this is really cute, I got it in the sale from Motel, um, motelrocks.com I think the web address is for this one. I really actually would recommend Motel because even though a lot of this stuff is a little bit too colourful, kind of like a goth wardrobe, they do sometimes have lovely little pieces like this. And another cardigan type thing, one I got from New Look ages ago, is this. You may notice that I do a lot of shopping in high street stores and things like this, but look, you look hard enough, you find gorgeous things like this. I love this cardigan. It's so easy to wear, just throw it on, nice and cool, but you're still kind of a bit covered up and stuff like that. What's the most outrageous or colourful item? Well, when you wear black 100% of the time, that's a really hard one. But as it happens, I have this stunning dress by Collective, lovely bright green pencil dress, it's a halter neck, so has halter straps. I've worn this a few times, like weddings and things, and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I remember buying it at the shop in Leeds, um, a little independent shop, I can't remember the name of it actually, but you sell it lots of tutus and very fancy neon -y stuff, and I got this from that shop, and I love it. I do love it. I don't wear it, but I love it. <laughs> What's your favourite piece you've got as a gift? Okay, so my boyfriend spoils me quite a lot with things like this. These are absolutely my favourite thing that he has bought me in terms of wardrobe. Look at these. They're from TUK, or Tuck as some people call them. They're little kitty kind of faces, how sweet are they? And the good thing about these ones is they're not actually too high so I can't walk in them. I love these little shoes. They are the cutest thing and they're such a good talking point as well. Um, everyone comments on these shoes when I wear them. Literally everybody's like, oh my god, your shoes, where did you get your shoes? I don't know where you got them from. Um, but yeah, I love them. They're so sweet. I really love them. <laughs> What's your most comfortable item? When it comes to comfort, I like things that are loose, slightly oversized, but can still look really nice and be dressed up as well, such as this. It looks huge, I know. It's a bat wing top that I got from Amazon for the grand total of £6. It looks absolutely massive, but it looks so pretty, like tucked into some high-waisted jeans or, you know, with a belt around it. It's actually long enough on me to use as a dress because I am only five foot one. But I love this. It is so comfy. Just throw it on with a pair of nice leggings or a pair of nice jeans or whatever, and you're good to go. You know, accessorise it. That's the one thing about goth fashion. Don't have to buy things that are really expensive and overstyled, just buy basics and style things. What is the most uncomfortable item but you would take the pain for it anyway because you love it? Well, again for anyone who may have watched my video blog from when we went to Birmingham, I can't remember whether or not I actually mentioned these shoes, I think I did, but I bought these shoes, these boots online from nastydress.com. They arrived the morning we were going to, we were travelling to Birmingham, so I put them on, went to the house, thought actually no, they're really comfy, they'll do. Only after I'd had them on for 24 hours in Birmingham, my feet were absolutely crippled. I actually think I may have done a damage to one of my toes from wearing these. They're lovely, I do like them, but I would strongly recommend if you buy them, don't wear them, in a city for a weekend that has basically been built on the side of a mountain. Show us your favourite complete outfit. 
though I'm not actually going to get all the pieces for this outfit out because some of them are in storage and um, some of them are elsewhere in drawers and I can't find them at the moment so I'm just going to put you a picture over here so you can see what it looks like so this outfit is made up from a jacket from Red Queen Squat Legion, a corset skirt type thing, so it's like a corset belt with a skirt on the side by Punk Rave. They are the other pair of pen and gallon boots that I own, and um, PVC paint ones. A mesh corset that I think I got from Corset Story or Corsets hyphen UK. The stockings are actually a pair of tights, which I think again I got from eBay. Um, I believe I just typed in something on the lines of suspender tights and they popped up. And the jewellery that I'm wearing is by a lovely independent handmade jewellery, like gothic jewellery store, it's ran by one lady all by herself who just so happens to be one of my best friends in the whole world. So this is the moon necklace. I think she named this one Night Enchantress, although I might be slightly wrong on that one. Sorry if I am. <laughs> they are two of my absolute favourites, in particular this one. I wear this one an awful lot. So that outfit is actually something I would wear for a night out, if there was anywhere worth going night out wise around here that would not throw me out for wearing something like that. Pick your favourite black item and your favourite white item. Well, my entire wardrobe is black. Everything that I've showed you I really like. That question is difficult. Whoever made this tag obviously didn't take people like me into consideration. I think one of my absolute favourites though is this jacket that I picked up from Amazon. It's kind of like a cropped, sort of cropped one but because I'm short you know it's more or less normal length on me. But yeah it's awesome. It's a snakeskin style patent leather. The only thing that kind of bugs me about it is that all the hardware is this weird kind of brass colour instead of being silver. But I bloody love this jacket, it's so cool. It was such an impulse buy as well. I kind of, like, was looking for something completely unrelated on Amazon and it popped up in suggestions. And I was like, yep, add to cart, gotta have that. Thank you very much, Amazon. Favourite white item? Oh man. I don't know, does, does this count? I mean, it has white print on it. It's a it's black fabric though. Does that kind of count? It's, does it count as being a white item when the print's white? I'm going to go out there and say that it does because that's as close as it's going to get. This question is actually probably my favourite one. Where do you shop the most? I do an awful lot of my shopping on Amazon, on eBay, online in general because like I say I am a demon bargain hunter and I will go to the last second on auctions on eBay if it's something that I really really want but I shop on the high street as well I literally go to the most mundane average high street stores like New Look, H&M, Topshop, River Island, places like that, Forever 21 as well actually I shop there because if you keep your eyes open and you have in your head basically if it's black go look at it. <laughs> Anything black and lacy will generally grab my attention, doesn't matter what shop it is in. You do not need to spend a shitload of money on stuff from Punk Rave, Red Queen's Black Legion, anywhere else, Killstar even, to be able to dress goth. Go into your local high street, go look in your local high street shops, find something that suits your aesthetic. I guarantee that you will be able to get yourself a nice little outfit for half of the, like less than half probably, of what you would pay for some of these specific goth orientated or goth directed or just generally alternative directed brands. I mean don't get me wrong they do some amazing stuff like I say I am wearing Killstar leggings right now this top here is from Queen of Darkness so yeah I do shop with some of those brands too but 99% of my clothing comes from the high street or high street styled websites like Boohoo, Misguided, places like that. So there you go guys, that is a very quick Corset Confidential tag, that one was a whole lot of fun. I will do my absolute best to try and link everything in the description below. Some of it I probably won't be able to find, and as I say some of it came from eBay second hand, so I'm definitely not going to be able to find that, but at least with anything that did come second hand, you can kind of look for similar sorts of things. Throw black lace vest off or black lace camisole into the search bar on eBay, you will find something, I guarantee it. Okay, so if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my channel, it would mean an awful lot to me if you would like to do something like that, it'd be very, very nice. And, you know, by all means, give the video a quick thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you all soon. Bye!